How's it going, Blade Series? This is David with Blade Banter. Now we are going to be talking with Chris Reeve Knives. This is a Matt. Yep. Uh, so we're going to do an icebreaker question first. So I guess give me a number from 1 through 25. Uh, let's go with 22. 22. Yep. So 22. Um, uh, do you have any phobias that you'd like to break? Phobias I'd like to break? Yes. All right, I'll be honest on this one. I'm a little freaked out by spiders. Yeah. And I, I, I can handle it now, I can deal with it uh, much better than I could when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I would love to get to the point where a spider in my house, I could take it outside and let it live. Yeah. But I'm still very far from that. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm a kill on sight kind of guy. It's, yeah. And even then, it's not easy. My wife will come and get me. If there's a massive spider in the room, and I have to like pump myself yeah, up for yeah. it before I can take yeah, care of it. Yeah, we gotta get all pumped up for it. Like, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm working on that one, but it's uh, it's tough. I'm still a few years away from that, I think. Very good. So, yep. so now, what's the popular knives that uh, Chris Reeves is having currently? Uh, there's a lot of cool new stuff right now. Uh, the Impinda is the new knife that we launched a blade show that won the American Made Knife of the Year. That is uh, by far probably the most sought after at this moment. Mm -hmm. We did also just release the Tonto Blade Profile on the large and small in Kosi. Uh, USN, and this is a, a newer one for us. It's the third and final profile for the Inkosi, and has been received very well so far. Nice. And this is available in a large and small, and either plain, uh, black micarta inlays, or natural micarta inlays. And so uh, that's kind of one of the newer options available at the moment. And then we've done um, kind of some fun stuff for Blade Show West specifically yeah. that we brought to the show with us here. And the blue carbon fiber inlay. We do carbon fiber inlays as an exclusive for Blade HQ, uh, but this is something that we're just going to do as a limited option, available from us at shows from time to time. And we really liked the uh, the color and the uh, and the pattern of this particular blue, as it's a bit more uh, in line with our company color of like the navy blue yeah, option. Definitely. And then does the and premium so, change much from the uh, standard to the uh, show specific one? Uh, we did the premium inlay pricing on this is an additional fifty dollars, so not not yeah, crazy. Not bad at all. But it is very limited. We'll do 20 of these in the large, 20 small, and 20 in Nundies, and we've got a few left, but they went really quickly. It's been a, it's been a fun one to have at the show with us. Nice. So, yep. Cool. And then, uh, so now some of the new ones, I guess, what's new and exciting for the brand? Do you have the slip joint now that was uh, brought out and kind of talked about? Yep. So yep. Now, how's that going? That's going really well. That is by far, uh, of our lineup currently, the most popular thing, and it's a, it's a really awesome design. So we brought the acrylic model here to show exactly how this works, but as of June 1st, this is a patent pending spring design. The knife was designed by Bill Harsey, who's an Oregon boy, and, and we're proud to work with him whenever possible. Okay. But he had a really cool idea when it comes to the spring. He's able to achieve two different tensions on the same spring with this cam design right here. Um, we've got a five pound closing tension to a one pound draw tension. This inner lobe right here is what's holding the blade open, and the outer lobe, which is farther away from the anchor point, is what holds it uh, closed. Nice, and that's not what I hear very often as far as people talking about the, the actually pounds of tension. Yeah. Uh, so don't really hear that talked about too much, but it yeah. is an important part about actually using the knife. It is, yeah, and terms. that was sort of the difference. I mean, every other slip joint on the market has the same tension whether you're opening it or closing mm -hmm. it. And they also have that 45 degree stop, yeah. uh, which this does not have. We have a single point of contact all the way through the travel of this blade. And so even if you push it past to the open position, it will never spring close at any point in time. So even with the production model here is what I've got in my hand, this is one of the first 50 we made that we brought to Blade Show. If I push it past the open position, it stays where it's at. So we sort of feel like it was an innovative upgrading of the slip joint and is a, is a modern slip joint design that we were very happy to partner with Phil Harsey on. Oh, very good, awesome. And yeah. then, uh, so for yourself, uh, going back to a uh, question for you, okay. so what was your first knife that you picked up? My very first knife ever? Yep, my very first knife ever, passed down or it picked up It was a Swiss yourself? Army knife. Yeah. A Swiss Army knife, the camping edition. My dad bought that for me and had my name uh, engraved in it, which is really cool. I got it when I was a fourth grader, yeah. and I cut the crap out of my thumb whittling with it. No, that's no. what has to happen. You learn. You yeah. know, you cut yourself once, and you kind of realize, oh, this yeah, is uh, you not, shouldn't do it that way anymore. Not a toy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I still got the knife though. It's in my uh, it's in my room right now. I every once in a while I'll carry it around, and I kind of forget how useful and utilitarian a Swiss Army knife is. They're they're phenomenal. It's very good. Kind of fun to find my center again by carrying that every now and again. Yeah. Good. So, well, yep. thank you very much for your time. Of course. Thank you.